Hey Freedom Grills, today we have the new SIG Romeo X. We have the compact footprint version. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna talk about its specs, its features, its warranty, how it compares to the Holosun 507K, and we're gonna install it on the SIG P322. So first up, let's unbox this thing. It's 1.62 inches in length, 1.29 inches width, and a 0.94 inches high. It weighs one ounce with the battery, and that battery is a CR1632 battery, just like the Holosuns. So looking at the Holosun 407K and 507K in comparison, the length is essentially the same. This is 1.6 compared to this 1.62 in, in length. The height is the same, 0.95 uh, compared to 0.94. The major difference is the width. The Holosun is actually slimmer. This is 0.98 inches in width, whereas this is 1.29, most likely from this battery tray on the side here. And both of these also weigh the same. They're both one ounce. They both use the same battery, the CR1632, with the major difference being the Holosun has the battery tray here on the side, whereas this is also on the side, but it's uh, you know obviously totally different. And when talking about the battery, this has a 20,000 hour battery life, whereas the Holosun has a 50,000 hour uh, battery life. So obviously the advantage goes to Holosun for that battery life there. Both are open emitters, meaning there's no glass back here. When I first saw promos for this, I did think that this was an enclosed emitter, which would have been awesome. That's one thing that SIG did miss, in my opinion, as far as what they could have done for this optic. That would have been a real contender with the EPS carry. Both are open emitters. Both are made of 775 aluminum. Both have a multi-reticle system. Now, the one thing that SIG is saying is this has an ultra low deck height and i know on the 407 and 507k it's 7.04 millimeters so let's see what it is on the romeo x compact 6.57 so yeah that's obviously lower than the 7.04 not as low as the eps carry which is a 6.16 but definitely awesome to see because that'll give you a better ability to co-witness with your iron sights. Now for a reticle, this does have a two MOA dot with 32 MOA ring. They give you the battery to put in. They don't give you a tool to undo this though. So I'm actually gonna use the Holosun multi-tool real quick and we'll get this in and turned on. Okay, I know that the reticle isn't perfect on the screen here, so we'll show a picture of what it actually looks like, but it does let you cycle through all of the different variations. Like Holosun, there's a 32 MOA ring. They could do only, you do a two MOA dot only, or both of them combined, there's 32 MOA ring plus the dot. And as far as a direct comparison to what the reticle looks like, it doesn't have the little crosshairs like Holosun has. There's no knock on that. Let's how the uh, new 507 comp looks, like that's fine. Just so you know though, at the bottom of the ring, there's like a little space there. I saw a couple people on forums ask, was that normal? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. And just like the Holosun to cycle through this, we are gonna press down on the, uh, the lower brightness for a couple of seconds and it will cycle through the different reticle options. My last comment on reticle choices, this only comes in red for the reticle. The Holosun does have red or green. A green in this I could see being more popular. Now, as far as brightness settings go, there are 15 total for the Romeo X, 12 daytime and three night vision compatible. And there are only 12 for the Holosun, which has 10 daylight and two night vision compatible. Both of them have their own form of shake awake. Holosun obviously calls it shake awake. SIG calls it the MOTAC motion activated illumination. This automatically shuts off after two minutes of inactivity and then automatically turns on when you pick it up. The shake awake turns off automatically after 10 minutes of inactivity and obviously turns on when you pick it up as well. As far as a footprint between the two of them, SIG Romeo X is RMSC. Holosun has a modified RMSC, which essentially means that the RMSC has these extra bases for the lugs in the back whereas this only has the front 
on the 407 and 507. And for warranty, they both have the same warranty essentially. It's a limited lifetime warranty. So if you have any issues, hit up the manufacturer. Now for retail price. So this has a map price of $399.99, so $400. This has a map price, if it was the 507K, of $296. So for about $100 more, you're getting the SIG Romeo X. So here's what I like about the Romeo X Compact. It has an ultra low deck height that we went over, but it gives you the ability to co-witness with standard height iron sights. It's assembled in the United States. It has an integrated rear sight notch, and the compact model actually includes the fiber optics. The 407K also has this integrated rear sight notch, but in my opinion, it's more pronounced on the Romeo X here. So let's talk about the footprint. So on the compact, it has a regular RMSC footprint, and the 407K and 507K have a modified RMSC footprint. So essentially that means it has these front notches, obviously has the holes for the screws, but the regular RMSC has these rear holes for the lugs, whereas the 407K and 507K do not. So a slight difference overall how this would fit onto a gun. Okay, now we're gonna install the Romeo X on the P322. And to install this, I do recommend getting the fat wrench from Wheeler. It's on freedomgorilla.com, the best price with free shipping, along with Romeo X and all the holes on lineup. But we'll need that to torque it to the proper specs. And if you're wondering for the specifically for the 322, there's a M4 and an M3 in the screws. We're gonna use the M3. We're gonna torque it to 24 inch pounds. If you're using the M4 screws, the manual says to torque it to 28 inch pounds. All right, so we get the Romeo 5 here. We're going to line it up. Holes are right there. We'll drop in our screws and then tighten. Here it is, totally installed. Now, here's what I really like about this. Like I mentioned before, it has the fiber optics in the rear notch. They match up with the front iron sight here. So it's actually pretty perfect when you hold it up. I know I can't make a pretty good alignment here, but it does uh, one third co-witness, lower one third co-witness right off the bat without having to mess with anything. And uh, it looks pretty cool on this. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, overall, I think this looks great on the P322. My biggest issue with it is price-wise, because this would be $400. I think I paid like 400, maybe a slightly above that for the 322. So if you want to drop another $400, you know, you could definitely get this pretty sleek design. But this 407K is much cheaper. That's why I have it on here in the first place. And the only negatives I really have for this is kind of sticks out further than I'd like. You know, I, my eyes just kind of get drawn to this side right here when I'm looking through and it has a much lower battery life than the 407K and 507K. But overall, I'd be more than happy to, to run this on my 322 every day. If you want to see us compare it to any other optic, just let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching Freedom Gorillas.